a huge plume of magma under the Galapagos Islands have been spotted by floating robots. This is on Live Science by Rafti Letzer, staff writer. Today, we have a map here with the red spots, the circles on the map representing seismic events. This is what helped floating mermaids determine the shape of the magma chamber under the islands. So each red dot is an earthquake, as you can see. A fleet of floating robots has figured out why the Galapagos Islands exist. They're volcanic islands, as we see. And according to the robot's creators, the discovery could help explain why the Earth is not a floating ball of ice. The Galapagos Islands are a volcanic archipelago in the Pacific Ocean about 600 miles off the coast of Ecuador. These islands are most famous as host to a large number of species not found anywhere else in the world, which helped the biologist Charles Darwin develop the theory of evolution. And now, according to an international team of researchers, we know that these islands were formed by a thin tunnel, bringing magma up from a mantle plume 1,200 miles below. Scientists suspected such a plume might exist before, but this is the most direct evidence yet that it actually is down there. The researchers published their description of the mantle plume and the floating robots that helped discover it today, February 4th, in the journal Nature Science Reports. Quote, mantle plumes are giant bubbles of very hot magma that sit much closer to the Earth's crust than usual. For decades, scientists have proposed that plumes like this could explain why certain regions of the planet are very volcanically active, even though they are far from the edges of tectonic plates, where volcanism is more expected. Hawaii is a famous example of that. Not every volcanologist accepts this explanation, but those who do think it explains why the Earth has not run out of heat. While the planet has been temperature, has had temperature swings in the history significant enough to radically transform the climate, we are in the middle of an unnaturally sudden one right now. Its temperature has remained fairly constant from geological perspective. The planet has not cooled over time from its internal heat running out. And according to the study authors, this requires some explanation. Earth could have only maintained its temperature, lead author Gust Nolet, a, geo a geoscientist at the University of Nice, Sophia Antipolis in France, said in a statement, quote, if some of the original heat from its accretion and that created since by radioactive minerals could stay locked inside the lower mantle, but most models of the Earth predict that the mantle should be pushing heat up to the surface and releasing this heat much more quickly. These results of the Galapagos experiment point to an alternative explanation. The lower mantle may well resist transferring heat up through the body of the planet and instead only bring heat to the surface in the form of mantle plumes such as the ones creating Galapagos and Hawaii. The result would be a kind of trickle effect where the hot innards of the planet would release enough geothermal heat to keep the crust warm, but not so much that it burned itself out. To detect this possible mantle plume feeding the Galapagos, the researchers deployed nine robots called mermaids, which would float freely about a mile under the surface of the ocean, listening for underwater earthquakes. Scientists figure out what's going on inside the planet by carefully studying how earthquakes move through it. It's a technology that's a bit like an ultrasound, but on a massive scale. The problem is most earthquake data comes from land, which covers just a third of the planet's surface. The mermaids are designed to fill in the gaps. Whenever they hear an earthquake, according to the statement, the mermaids rise to the ocean surface and use GPS data to figure out their location on Earth. Then they transmit home their GPS and seismic data. 
This is the sort of data the researchers used to reconstruct the plume under the Galapagos, which is the first published result from the mermaids project. It's worth noting that not every seismologist except that mantle plumes really exist. As Sarah Pratt reported in 2015 for Earth Magazine, some seismologists doubt there is enough information on seismic waves to offer clear pictures of what's going on that far below the crust. Opponents of the theory point out that the various definitions of mantle plume are often so broad as to contradict one another and that while many mantle plumes have been discovered, quote unquote, no, no one's been able to produce a confirmed list of ones that really exist. These doubters offer alternative modified theories of plate tectonics that explain volcanic hotspots like Hawaii and the Galapagos. Still, mantle plumes remain the dominant explanation in seismology for places on this planet like the Galapagos, and this plume discovered under those islands would be the first major discovery accomplished using free-floating seismometers. Scientists now have an exciting new method for peering deep into the planet. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.